Greetings, friend. This is a classic Sudoku by Sudoku Explorer. It's on Logic Master's Journey. I'll put a link below. It's called The Mole. Uh, got a lot of praise. It's like an 88% approval rating on Logic Master's Journey. Difficulty is lower. It's like a one star. Um, but I heard that it can be uh, somewhat tricky. Uh, again, thank you so much, Sudoku Explorer, for letting me solve some of your puzzles on my channel. I'm looking forward to this one. I'm kind of curious to see what the solve path is going to be. And with that, it's solving time. I will show all the candidates, uh, anticipating to be a little bit of a harder puzzle. And then I'm going to kind of through, I'm looking for some kinds of constraints, right? And so what are the constraints be? You know, ones, twos, and threes are in these three cells. So I know those have to be ones, twos, and threes. That's going to have to be a three. Uh, and then that's a one, two. Um, naked pair. Well, actually, hidden pair. All right. Five, six, eight, nine. The eights are limited up there. And then the eights are going to be limited right there, which I already made those corrections. And then I'm looking across. Uh, you can see the one twos are also continuing that naked pair action. You can kind of see there's just a one two, one two, and one two, one two. Okay, the one twos are limited. And you can kind of see that pretty quickly, so I'm going to mark that. And then you have a four, six, seven, nine quad going across row three. All right. Now I'm going to look down here, see if there's any other kind of pairs of things that I can solve right away. Don't see anything there. Moving down row six, row seven. And not seeing anything. Uh, ones are limited here, row eight and block eight. So I know that can't be one, that can't be one. It's also a claim pair of ones over here if you want to solve it that way. And then I see uh, nothing else jumps out at me right off the bat. I'm going to kind of do one more quick glance to see if there's something else here. Okay, I do have fours limited in block six to uh, column nine so I can get rid of these fours and then see there's just two fours left there nice uh, anything else that I can see not right now I have a feeling it's going to come out to me though when I start showing the candidates so let's start marking the candidates here and we notice with the ones uh, a lot of just by values uh, with the ones you know there's only one block right here that even has more than one to one interesting Okay, and the twos. One, two, one, two. All right, nothing I can eliminate there with the twos. Let's go to threes. Oh, we do have a hidden single three right there. And other than that, threes are looking okay. Uh, onto the fours. And I have a point pair of fours, so you can get rid of those fours. Sweet. And then uh, I don't see anything else I can do with the fours. Let's go to the fives. All right, what do we got with the fives? What do we got with the fives? You know, I always see, you know, two fives right there. They have a strong link that usually can lead to something. Um, also have some interesting empty rectangle type shapes going on. That might, but I don't see a way to connect them right now. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to let go of the fives for now. Go to the sixes. Uh, what do we have here? Another pretty cool empty rectangle shape, but it's not connecting to anything that's going to be of value to us. Sevens. Oh, I missed that. They had some of those uh, hidden single sevens. And this is a pointing pair, so you can get rid of that seven. And I do try to catch those with my normal view and not rely on the filtering of the candidates to do that for me. Uh, six, seven, six, seven. Okay. Let's go to the eights. Uh, got a pointing pair here on the eights. So we can get rid of those eights. Got a four, eight, nine. Okay. And nothing else I can do with the eights. Let's go to the nines. Interesting look on the nines here. Got a pointing pair. Of nines right there, so I can get rid of all these nines. All right, that was a lot of eliminations. Now we have another pointing pair coming down 
So we can get rid of those nines. And now that's a 4-8 uh, naked pair. So we have a 4-8 naked pair. We can get rid of these 4s, top and the bottom, and all the 4s and 8s that are in here. So that was a lot of eliminations. Now we have a 6-9 pair. So we can get rid of these 9s. And see here, there's a 2-3. So there's a lot of, I'm finding, hidden pairs because I'm doing the elimination. But that's going to lead to uh, solving some candidates right there. All right, so now you have a 2-9. Uh, I can solve that. Two nine. I can come down here, get rid of the twos and the nines. And there's only one nine left right there. Sweet. Uh, only one nine left right there. Okay. And I can get rid of this two. Did I clean up that really well? I did. Um, and what you have here, there is an empty rectangle. The six nine. Six, nine. And we can basically we can get rid of the sixes right here. And the reason being is that uh, if this was a six, you'd have a nine, nine, and a six. And if you solve the puzzle, I uh, went through and solved the puzzle, you could have another solution where it'd be the nines and sixes would be reversed right there. That's not okay. Since we have sixes have other options along the row and the column, uh, you can eliminate those. But the nines are stuck to these four spots. Um, and so I see, since it's on both sides, I call it, you know, it's a double type 7. But I believe it has an, another name, like a type uh, type 4. Anyway, we can get rid of those 6s. How does that help our 6? Well, right now, point, we have a claiming pair of 6s. Well, we actually have a 5, 6 naked pair. So we can get rid of all these 5s and 6s right there. Now you have a 3, 4, and a 1, 2. So it's 3, 4, you can get rid of that 4. That's a 7, that's 4. Um, and then you have a six, eight, nine, triple right there. So that has can't be a six. That has to be a seven, and that's a six. That's a five. That's an eight, six, five. And you see how this puzzles is starting to kind of uh, crack, it's starting to fall apart for us, which is nice. Um, but I'm enjoying it. I really think it's a kind of a neat solve uh, so far. I've really liked the uh, the logic that has been shown here. This is kind of cool. All right, I'm going to go back oh, and just see anything else I can solve clean up wise. One nines, twos, threes, fours, threes, twos, ones, uh, twos, eights. Yep, I think we've cracked this puzzle. Let me get rid of that. And so what it started with was identifying those hidden pairs. And then once you saw the hidden pairs, it really opened up the possibilities for the rest of the puzzle. And there were some triples there, um, but for the most part, it was the claiming pairs, pointing pairs, hidden pairs, and naked pairs that help us solve this puzzle. That was a lot of fun. So did you try to solve it? Let me know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to Smart Hobbies so you don't miss out on any new content. I'm pushing out two videos a week. Thank you so much, Sudoku Explorer, for letting me feature this puzzle on my channel. I look forward to putting some more of your puzzles on this channel. And everyone who watches, thank you so much for watching.